Hi, this is Emily the Audi Nerd, and tonight we're going to be taking a look at a 2022 Audi RS5. But this one's a little bit special compared to the, some of the other regular RS5s that you'll be seeing out on the road for this year. This one has the Audi exclusive bronze styling package. The Audi RS5 is powered by the 2.9 liter V6 twin turbo engine, which accelerates from 0 to 60 in just 3.8 seconds. It has 444 horsepower with 442 foot pound of torque. The cool thing about this engine it is shared in the S6, the S7, and some Porsches. Now, before we take a deep dive into what makes the RS5 special, there's something I want to point out. Since it is the RS car, it does have a higher price tag than, say, the A5 or the S5. But there is a ton of standard features that come on this vehicle that you have to go up to a Premium Plus, Prestige, or even standalone options to get those on an A5 or an S5. So let's take a look at those now. Now let's take a look inside of the RS5. First, you'll notice the fine Napa leather on the S Sport seats. And you'll see it has the honeycomb design since it is an RS vehicle. The S Sport seats do come with massage st standard in the seats, but don't forget about this really cool stitching. We'll come back to that one. Now moving over to the climate control, you'll see everything is normal there. However, if you come up on the screen, this is where it gets really cool. You have the G meter, you have different RS modes, a lot of different really cool stuff that you can adjust all right here from the screen. Moving over to the center, it comes standard with Audi's virtual cockpit. And if you option it with navigation, you can have all the different views, including the full navigation view with the little dials down there at the bottom. It also has a heated steering wheel, of course, gotta have that. And it also has the button right here where you can select your different RS modes. Another cool thing that ties in on the inside is the matte carbon inlays. I love this because it ties in perfectly with the matte carbon mirror caps and the matte carbon on the exterior. Moving to the outside of the car, the first thing I want to highlight is some of the safety features that come standard. You'll notice right here, it's got the proximity sensors for front and rear. Then moving up a little bit, you'll see the matrix design headlights. It also has matrix design taillights. Now we're at the front of the RS5. This is the heart of the RS5. And as I mentioned earlier, that this one is very special because it has the Audi exclusive bronze styling package. A couple unique things that comes with that is the matte carbon all along here. And we'll do a close up in just a little bit, but I'm gonna highlight all the features that comes with the package. You get special wheels, which we'll go in depth on. Black rings and badges come part of that package and the full black optics, aside from the additional carbon pieces. So now if you come in a little bit closer, I can show you what those will look like. So right all along here, and the front diffuser, that is all of the carbon pieces. I love it because instead of just being a regular carbon package, which is an option, it is matte carbon. So it gives it a really cool look. It's kind of the original design of carbon. And then you can see the black rings and badges, especially on this blacked out RS5. I gotta admit, it looks pretty dang good. Moving along to the side of the car, this is a perfect spot where you can see these different wheels. So these wheels, which we have seen before on the previous generation of the RS5 and this generation, have now been offered in this really cool bronze finish. I love it because it's in the matte instead of being in a shiny where it gives it a whole different dimension on it. And this one with the red brake calipers, they just pop. I love the way it stands out. And moving up a little bit this way, I'll show you the matte carbon mirror caps, which are right here. Again, with that matte, so it gives it that real dry carbon look. I'm a huge fan of this. I'm excited to see what other cars they put this on. The Audi RS5 comes standard with Audi's rear sport differential. And what that is, is a limited slip diff along the rear axle. It divides power on either side, pushing it either way, depending on what you're doing, eliminating understeer through the corners and powering you through. The other thing cool about this car is it does have the dynamic package. Part of the dynamic package are the red brake calipers, which you'll see right here, and DRC. What DRC is, is dynamic ride control. It takes all the sensors along the vehicle in all four corners. It can adjust the suspension, making it stiffer at times, more comfortable at other times, including if you put it in comfort mode. This helps you stay flat at the corners and improves handling. The other part of the dynamic package is the RS Sport exhaust, and we'll demonstrate that in just a little bit. On the back side of the RS5, you can see this matte carbon diffuser back here as a part of the bronze styling package and again great view on the massive oval exhaust tips and this one since it has the dynamic package gives the sport exhaust but now we'll stand up and take a look at some of the convenience features that are still offered on the rs5 now let's say you're coming back from costco and you have tons of stuff in your hands and you want to kick to release on the tailgate kick right here back up 
And it's really important you kick to the right of the license plate. That's where I have the best success. If you live in a climate like we do here in Minnesota, that's something that make sure you're going through a car wash that washes the undercarriage to make sure that the sensor is clear so that it still operates properly. But now let's take a deeper look inside of the trunk. Now I'm sure many of you want to know how many sets of golf clubs will fit back here. Well, I didn't bring any golf clubs as props. However, I did bring me, and I can tell you it's got to fit at least two sets because it fits a whole me with tons of extra room. Now back here in the trunk of the RS5, there is 21.8 cubic feet of storage. And if you come in a little bit closer, you can see there's tons of versatility options with it as well. There are four hooks on either side. So two on this side, two on that side, a pocket over here for more room. And then underneath something unique to this RS vehicle is it actually comes with a spare tire, which is pretty hard to find. When you put the seats down, however, there is 35 cubic feet of room. The RS5 also has the power height adjustable tailgate. So if this is too high for you, you can simply press this. And so let's say this is a more comfortable height. Press and hold. And that light and sound lets you know that has been set at the max height. Pushing it back up gently until you reach maximum height. Then simply press the button again and wait. And it has been reset back up to max height. Now let's kick to close and move on to the interior. Now, before we take a look on the interior, let me hop in the back to see how I fit back there. So as you remember, I am five, five and three quarters. The front seat has been adjusted for my husband, who's a little bit over six feet tall. So I'll hop in here and see how I fit. Oh gosh, I've got like tons of room in front of my knees, really comfortable. I have tons of room on top of my head. If you come in a little bit closer, you can see how the interior has actually been sculpted out to allow for more headroom back here. Rear heated seats on the RS5 come standard, including the digital climate control panel back here and charging ports with a regular USB or a 12 volt. Now I'm sitting in the interior of the RS5. This vehicle just got here this morning and I saved a couple satisfying peels so we can all take a look. First I'll do the screen where it's this little white spot and you pull. Oh, I love how that looks. And then we'll go up to the virtual cockpit, grab back here, Nothing like peeling stuff on a brand new car. Now focusing in on the virtual cockpit up here, I'm going to briefly go over a couple of things. If you have more specific questions, please leave them in the comments for me. As you already know, it has the heated steering wheel and the RS modes, but you can change the different view using this button. And this one, we're using the boomerang design, or you can program the star button to be whatever you want. So if you go over to the other screen, you can have it programmed to be turn the voice guidance on, use your garage door opener, a couple of different things. I really like the garage door opener once you have that paired. Moving back over to the virtual cockpit, these buttons over here allow you to change whatever you want to see in that center screen. You can use the view to make it big and small. So you have your G meter right there. You have your radio stations, your phone when it's connected. And then if I click view again and I can go into the settings and I can adjust what the virtual cockpit would look like. So going into the settings over on the MMI screen, going into display and brightness, Audi virtual cockpit, and then click RS Sport. So now go over to this side so you can see it. And I'll click Yes, Change Now. And that is the more classic sport look which we are used to seeing on other vehicles. Big and small dials, just as we're used to. One unique feature to the RS5 is it actually has metal paddles right back here. See it? And it also has the holes in the center, which is like a skeleton design. For race cars, you want to always save the weight or save grams, all the grams. This is where they could save a little bit of weight. The other spot that they added the skeleton feature was over on the door handles. If you come over here, notice they have that same skeleton design. The RS5 comes with the air wrapped steering wheel, which is the full leather. And this one, because it's the bronze package, has the bronze stitching on the inside of the steering wheel. I really love how that looks. And if you come down a little bit further, you can see right there where the RS is on the steering wheel. Now moving over to the shifter, you can see that the air leather on here matches the steering wheel. But this is the perfect view where you can see what the dry carbon looks like on the interior, where it's got this full dry carbon matte finish all the way along, which then connects all the way along the interior of the car. So the climate control panel is pretty much the same as most of the other Audis with this type of climate control panel. You have your different adjustments over here, and right now we have them synced, but if you wanted to have them individual, you could set them to three zone, which is driver, passenger, and rear. You can have it on auto by selecting this button, where it's off now, but back on. You can also change the different direction of where the air comes out, turn your AC on, off, and max, and then your fan speed. You can also adjust this on the passenger side as well. 
Up here, you have your heated seat, heated seat for passenger, and then this little black dot right here is not actually a button, so don't push it. It is actually the interior temperature sensor. Moving down to the smaller panel, we have your different drive select buttons where you can simply push this, come up to the top, and you can see all of your different options for your drive select. You have Comfort, Auto, Dynamic, RS1, and RS2. Now coming back down, you can see you have your traction control button here. This is where you would use Park Assist, which we'll demonstrate in just a little bit. And then if you push this button, that gives you your 360 camera. So pushing that, coming up, you can see your full 360 surround view camera. Pulling this out, you can have any of the additional views that you want to have. As you'd expect, all of the Audis will have the frameless auto dimming mirror RS5 included, and you notice the compass is turned on right now. If you do not want the compass on, simply press and hold, and the compass will turn off. And if you buy this car used, or your dealership has not had it turned on for you, and you get into it and the compass is turned off, simply press and hold, and it turns back on for you. Moving up this way, this is where you have your different adjustments for the sunroof, where you can push this back to open the shade, and then beyond that, push it all the way back and that will actually open up the whole sunroof. And then once it's completely open, you can push forward and that will close everything. You have your different light button here. This is where you can turn on the lights when the doors are open. This is for SOS and this is for roadside assistance. These are your microphones for the driver and the passenger, so these are not buttons, don't push those. And then you have your interior ambient lighting, which is this little guy, you can see it's lighting up just the tip of my finger right there. This is more for night driving. Then you have your touch sensors for the driver and the passenger light. So the RS5 with the S-Sport seats comes with the massage function, so simply press this button right here and then come over to the screen and then you'll see all of the different options. We have knead, wave, and stretch, and three different levels of intensity. So we're on the lowest, second, and then there's the third. So you can have whatever you want for the function. The nice part about that is if you have a long road trip, this is an easy way to keep you awake without having stress back. So as you come to expect, the RS5's interior will be ultra luxury, even if you come down here with the illuminated door sills. They say RS5, because we're in an RS5. And then if you come down a little bit this way, it has the exclusive RS puddle lights. Since this is the Audi exclusive bronze styling package, it will have the Audi exclusive badges up here. And as I mentioned earlier, don't forget about the stitching. This is the Audi exclusive bronze stitching that is only a part of this package. It is on everywhere on the interior, including those door armrests, which you just saw, and along the seats and on the shifter.
Thanks for watching my video on this 2022 Audi exclusive bronze package RS5. I had a lot of fun making this for you and we have a ton more really special vehicles that should be here any day now. So I'm looking forward to making you a ton more videos. If you have something specific or other questions you'd like me to answer, please leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching.